Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to this English lesson. Hoy tenemos en esta lección tres objetivos. Definir el uso del verbo to do en el presente, distinguir entre singular y plural en las formas del verbo to do, y formar oraciones usando correctamente to do. El verbo to do en el presente es nuestro contenido conceptual. El profesor de inglés va a explicar este proyecto especial. Let's begin the lesson. The verb to do. The verb to do is used for three things. First, to show an action that happens regularly. For example, Susie does her homework at night, which means every night Susie's doing her homework. So we use does for Susie. It's also used to give a command or make a polite request. For example, Carlos, do the ironing before I get home, please. Now, the word Carlos is, has a comma after it because I am talking to Carlos. So really, the subject of that sentence is the word you. And we don't see the word, but it is the subject. And also, the verb to do is used to emphasize another verb. For example, your friend does want to go to your party. Does is emphasizing want. Now, the forms of to do, there are only two in the present tense. We have does, which is singular, and we have do, which is plural. So does if there's only one subject, and do if there is more than one. But there are two exceptions that we need to remember. With the word I and the word you, we will always use do, even though they seem to be singular. In English, there are some common phrases that you can use with the word do and does. Here are some common phrases. Do your homework or does his homework. Does aerobics. Do the test. Does well. Do the dishes. Does the laundry. Do the exercises. Do good work. And also you can switch. For example, where you see do, you could also have does. These are some common phrases that you might see these words in, in English sentences. Just like with any other verb in English, before you know the right form of the verb to do, you need to be able to first check to see if the subject is singular or plural. Because the verb and the subject have to be the same form. Choose the correct form of the verb to do. Let's practice. Amalia, do or does the dishes after lunch every day. Before we decide, we don't just guess. We look at Amalia, one person, so we say does. Samuel and Pablo, do or does good work in math class. There are two, so we say do. I, the best I can on my homework at night. Now here's the word I with that exception. So we say do, even though I'm only one. The children need to order new books for class. The children do need to order new books for class. Now here you have a chance to practice again. I give you a whole list of subjects, do and does in the middle, and a whole list of other information. And you can make the sentence combinations that you want. I have some suggestions. Tavo does good work. Janet and Juana do the laundry. The boys do well in school. She does aerobics. And I do the cleaning. And you can make other combinations as you want. Now try something a little harder. Write a note to a friend explaining what jobs each person in your family normally does on Saturday. Here's an example. Hi, Mike. You won't believe how busy my family is on Saturdays. I do all the cleaning in the yard. My sister does the dishes and my brother does the laundry. Normally, my mom and dad do the yard work, but this week they can't. My mom always does the housework, but she's out of town on business. Be glad you are not here to work. Sincerely, Tomas. Now you try one on your own. There are lots of new words in this lesson. 
homework, before, laundry, every day, the cleaning, busy, normally, always, out of town, housework, the ironing, dishes, lunch, order, yard, sick, business, glad. Hemos terminado con nuestros tres objetivos. Definir el uso del verbo to do en el presente, distinguir entre singular y plural en las formas del verbo to do, y formar oraciones usando correctamente to do. El verbo to do en el presente es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you for your attention.